In its 600 years, the Forbidden City has withstood over 200 devastating quakes. To find the answer, specialist carpenters are building a unique scale model to replicate the classic Forbidden City structure, a fifth of the original size. Engineers have built it on a shake table to simulate earthquake forces, calibrated to the size and weight of the scale model. A dogong is a complex bracket that supports the huge roof. And amazingly, there are no nails or glue, nothing holding it together other than sheer ingenuity. For a large hall that is 1,800 tons, engineers highlight areas that are vulnerable during the most powerful quakes. The Earth's movement could snap the columns, fracture the beams or joints, or topple the roof. It seems a tremor would be catastrophic. So how does it survive quakes? As the magnitude rises, 4, 4.5, then 5, these are massive increases. Magnitude 7.5 is over a thousand times stronger than the initial test quake of 4. There we go. And the timber frame does all the work. But how long can the frame resist the force of nature? So, a 9.0, this is like a very, very big earthquake. The test now moves beyond magnitude 9.5, the largest recorded quake in history. We wanted to break this building and it wouldn't break. So, wonderful test. This is the location of the building before the earthquake. We can see that 发生地震后呢, this explains why the columns are not founded deep into the stone bases. If they were, they could only break. The design secret can be summarized in one word. Flexibility. The dogong uh, acts like a shock absorber in a car. The test also explains the effect of the heavy roof. It acts as a counterweight pushing down so the flexible parts can ride the quake. What was most surprising to me was how much the building could move, how flexible it was. Nothing was damaged and it could survive a 10.1 earthquake. This is a, a fabulous proof of the genius of uh, Chinese traditional architecture.